Hey again everybody, welcome back. Uh, I'm going to finish it up with the paddle controller. I uh, got my rally cap. I am ready to go. We are ready to get this going. Part two left off with uh, Demons to Diamonds. <clears throat> so we're going to try a little bit of Night Driver. A little racing game. Funny, funny little tidbit about the uh, Night Driver game. It came out with a, um, it didn't come with it came with a uh, driving controller, which is basically the same as a paddle controller, but I think it's full 60 degrees, where the paddle controller, you can only turn it so far uh, left or right, clockwise and counterclockwise, but it came, Night Driver came with, um, I'm pretty sure it's the, uh, uh, it's called the driving controller, but it looks exactly like a paddle. Um, I think Street Racer was another game that did that. Uh, I have to. I'll eventually play the real versions of these, and I'll let you know what uh, which ones did it. But uh, yeah, they were basically the um, driving controller was just one controller you plugged into the port. The paddles are like two uh, that are joined together, and you plug it into a port. So that's how you get four player games and some games like Warlords and stuff like that. So be that as it may, we will go ahead and dive it deep into. The last six games, starting with Night Driver, uh, it's a fun little game. It's it's before pole position, so it's it's kind of like a little first person type of shooting game, uh, driving game rather. But uh, yeah, let's give it a shot. Um, get used to these controls here. All right, we're gonna go hold down the button and hold down the button, and you accelerate. You just gotta go through and avoid the the cars and houses. Oh, and let's see, now I just blew up. <laughs> so, of course, they're courteous enough to honk at you, so to let you know they're out there. Oh, I was trying to trying to avoid that. Oh. <laughs> Wow, I'm falling apart right there. All right. They are coming at me and rocking rocking the roads. You just basically just got to get out of their way. Like I said, the the, the honking is a, a a cue, an audio cue as to prepare for them. So I got 30. 30 points. 32. Let's see, was that it? No. I, oh yeah, okay. It's count. It's counting down by a timer, so we just keep uh, keep driving to the end there. Going a little bit drive crazy here. All right, 40 points on this. We'll give it one more go and see see if I can do a little better than that. Let's just get going. All right. They're giving me a lot of cars right off the bat there. Basically, if you can give, get a good rhythm going. Hmm. That's what's cool about the paddle. You can just, it's analog, so you can kind of just, boom, get out of the way quick. Mm. Oh yeah. There's a lot of blue cars on the road. Looking to be in good shape to beat my score. I don't think I'm getting any more points passing the cars. I think it's just basically the further you go along, the more points you get. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, first crash. <clears throat> Not cool. 
Oh, I'm falling apart here. Ah, uh, 48. I beat my score by 8 points. Mmm, I fell apart there. Oh, goodness, I fell apart there at that last, uh, last little bit. My home stretch. But, that was Night Driver. Um, like I said, not bad game. You know, just it's a challenge game. You know, see how far you can get, how many points and stuff. Uh, and of course, you can adjust the settings, as you can see right there. But, I just kind of did the default settings, what have you. Um, let's exit that that game. Alright, Night Driver. Let's go to Steeplechase. Now, let's see here. I am... I'll be honest with you, I don't think I... Alright, the paddle. Oh. Paddle moves, moves you a little faster or slower, and then the button you jump. I think it's kind of like a momentum based game. To be honest with you, I haven't, I don't think I've ever played this before. Okay, now I see on the right there, the paddle controls your. Um, little bar and that tells you how how high to jump I got you kind of neat I am the by the way I'm the the horse on the bottom the green so having said that I get it now of course this, ooh, this thing's going a little bit faster now okay all right, doing good. I am actually like getting ahead. Did I win? Wow. To be honest with you, it's like the first time I really played this game, and I won. Let's try it again. I'm gonna try one more quick game. I don't know if I'm playing because I'm not moving anything no that's not me let's reset this and let's try this again very cool I think if you lower the bar, you go faster. When you raise the bar, that's how you jump. So I'm doing this paddle thing. I might be just doing this. I might be saying it wrong. <laughs> I'm just guessing at this. But the bar on the right does look like it controls the height of your jump. So the paddle controls the bar on the right, and then you just jump with the button. Nice. Very, very cool. Very cool little challenge here. All right. They're coming at me. Okay, cool. Awesome. That was Steeplechase. Hmm. Fun little game. Now, Street Racer. Alright, I am the red car on the right. It's kind of like an overhead view of racing and the paddle, of course, left and right. Alright. I crashed. <laughs> All 
All right, I can see this little challenge here. Ah, oh, we are dead even right now. Ah. Oh goodness. When you get hit by a car, it really slows you down. This is one of those another one of those games where you have to have this analog just to go just to dodge fast. It's something you can't recreate in the uh, digital joystick. Yeah, analog's definitely the way go here way to go here. Trying to anticipate. All right, cool. So far, I'm ahead. I wonder if it goes to a point system or if it's just time. Hmm. Goodness. It's those cars that go diagonally. It really gets you. Oh, goodness. Alright. The score's flashing. That means the game is about over. That's what a lot of early Atari games did. 70. Ah. Oh, is that it? Yep. Cool, I had like, what, 71? Yeah, I had about 71, so I won. I beat the, beat the computer. Simple game, that was that was a Street Racer. So that was a, you know, relatively straightforward game. You know, not, a lot of these games aren't very much in depth when you get to Atari. I mean, but they were fun. They were loads of fun back in the day. And, you know, it is what it is. Now, Super Breakout. This is a uh, one of another one of my favorite games. This one, the Atari version, had um, different sound effects every time you press reset. So um, we'll see what kind of sound effects I got going right now, if any. Okay. Don't so much hear any sound effects. It might be a little too low. You, you all might be able to hear them. But yeah, Super Breakout's pretty much the same as Breakout. Just kind of the the board is a little bit more narrow, a little smaller looking, but kind of the same principles as um, Breakout. You just you really want to try to punch a punch away to the top and um, have the ball bounce from the ceiling to the top part of the play field. Like, yeah, get a good good groove going. Say that ten times. Movie. Alright, now, should, whenever I hit these uh, blue bars, should start going a little faster the uh, the ball here because you know the higher you get the quicker quicker it does get unfortunately all right here we go uh, all right there we go yep a little faster now if it hits the red one and gets up in the corner oh. Yeah, I'm trying. I'd love to get up in that corner right now. Come on. There we go. Perfect. Now you see my bar has just gotten a lot smaller. Honestly, this game doesn't seem as difficult as Breakout. <laughs> Maybe the ball doesn't go as fast as... Uh, Breakout, 
I don't know. Maybe I'm just a little better at it because it's a smaller play field. All right, now you see. It kind of gets frustrating right here. See, that gets frustrating right there because it just essentially bounces back and forth and kind of hope it'll <laughs> take another turn like that. There we go. Paddle's feeling good in this. Very nice. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Yep, there we go. Come on. Good. Good. Let's get this. Let's knock this board out. Come on now. All right, let's see if I can. Uh, I was going to see if I can get it to. All right. Trying to see if I can get it to bounce another way. Just got to be very accurate on this. All right, come on. Ah, are you going to help me out here? <laughs> there we go. It's a little bit more random. All right, come on. We can do this. Ah. Oh. oh. <laughs> okay, good. 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 I just need you to get the two green bars. That's all I need. Oh, come on. I think I'm about to lose. Hmm. Hmm. Ah. Come on, just there we go. One more. Ah. Come on, just one more. That's all you gotta do. Drama, folks. Will I do it? Can I do it? Oh, come on. Ah. <sighs> <laughs> Ah, so close. Ah, stop bouncing like that. Okay. Got it. Boom! I did it. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to do that, though. All right, 419 on the second level of Super Breakout. See, that's the main thing about this game. It kind of gets frustrating when you're down to your last pieces and you try to get the ball perfect to get that last little bit. But that's it's fun. Like I said, I, I really like those particular games. Uh, let's try Video Olympics. Now, this game has got like a, a bunch of different ver um, variations. Um, you got Pong. You got you got all kinds. Of, like if you go to the menu. 
Um, there, there are a lot of different versions. I mean, I could go through tons of these. Let's just pick one uh, at random. Let's go with 36. All right, let's, 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 uh, all right, this is a, uh, I guess that my opponent is invisible. And it's also probably two player, let's see. Yeah, it, this is a two player game. All right, let's do this one more time. Let's just start with game one. Since I guess that will be a um, one player game. And of course, this is Pong. The, the uh, classic computer kind of looks a little bit more challenging than the ah the one I played on the arcade pong hit the button and it goes faster or you hold down the button yeah. Ah. Probably shouldn't hit the button because it really fast. Intense. Ah. Need to slow it down there. Uh, spazzing out there. Oh. Oh, gosh. Computer is spanking me right now. Shouldn't be doing that, but I'm doing it. Alright. Who's going to win this? Hmm. <laughs> ah. Ah. Computer is providing a real challenge. Ah, oh, I was trying to be slick there. Nice. 
Ah, uh, seems if you get a di a kind of a diagonal shot off, the computer cannot catch up with it. Uh, I hate the straight shots. <laughs> Yes. If I lose, let's try to make it a respectable score. Ah. Can I come back? Ah. Not with those straight shots. Ah. Brutal. Come on, no. No. Yes. <sighs> yes. Come on. Oh. I'm making, I'm trying to mount a comeback here, guys. Oh! Oh, come on. Not the straight shot. Come on. Oh. Mm. Ah, not not that. Oh. Tied. If it's like the arcade, it might go to 15. <laughs> no! got to be the match point. Yes! Was that it? No! There's more! Oh, come on. No, I do not want the straight shot. Yes. Seventeen. Let's see if it goes to twenty. Eighteen.
Oh, come on. Yes, yes, no, 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 no. <sighs> oh, I had to try that. Twenty. Twenty one. That was a close game. That was that was awesome. That got my adrenaline pumping there a little bit. I was coming down. I was I was down a little bit. I came back. Very cool. That was a good good uh, good game of uh, pong there on the Video Olympics uh, game. Which, like I said, there's a bunch of different variations of this. Sometimes you're invisible. Um, sometimes there's like three or four different. Uh, rows of bars that you ricochet off of, but cool. It's it, it's it's pretty much the home version of Pong. It's not straight up Pong. It's just different variations, and they call it Video Olympics. But oh, that was intense. That was pretty fun. And the final game on this list uh, is Warlords. Now this is the Atari Twenty Six Hundred version. Uh, this is the version I'm used to. Uh, one I played last last video was the arcade version so this is the home version and this was originally a four-player game and um, yeah so I am playing as the top left character so I'm guessing the one on the um, bottom right is second player but doesn't seem to be moving So I'm guessing it's supposed to be like a two-player type of game, or two-player against two computers. So you you really gotta kind of flick that paddle in order to get try to get those. Uh, there we go, like that. Now, did you see the ball curve just now? Watch me shoot the ball. Let me sh let me, once I grab, let me grab the ball again. Now, watch this. There, there I am. If I shoot down, you'll see the ball curve. It's because the uh, the deflector that I just destroyed, he's still there, but the um, 
the outline of him is still there. You can see when the screen flashes bright, you can still see the outline of the character. So because he's there lined up with me, my, the ball will uh, curve. And that's another strategy you can use because uh, they'll, they'll, they're still there moving around. They're just out of the play field. So watch the ball curve. It's bouncing off of the invisible uh, reflector that I just killed. Uh, destroyed. Watch this. So you see that. So that is a strategy you can use um, to like destroy your other opponents. See now this guy, the blue guy, he's pretty quick so it's you gotta be like really quick. See now watch this. I'll try to destroy his uh, crown in the corner. I guess they're crowns or whatever by uh, reflecting it. Say, so, almost had him. So let me, once the ball comes over here, I will grab it again. Now let me get a little bit closer right here and see if I can blow him up. There you go. Now the, the blue guy that's disappeared his shadow is still there, so now I can use, now watch it curve when I let go of the button and try to curve the ball down to the bottom right corner. Now watch it curve. See now, see that blue guy was still there, he's just out of the play field. So that, like I said, that's another strategy of this game, uh, if you know it. Uh, let's see if I can get a uh, one player game where all the other characters um, are a computer. Let's see here. Is that, are they all, yes, they're all computer characters, but they are kind of slow. Let me, bear with me here. Uh, let's try that. I want them to be kind of fast. They might be always, yeah, they're, they're decently fast, so it's a little bit more of a challenge for me. Yeah. See, like right now, they, I probably could get it where they're all fast, but just because this is like a quick video pl gameplay, I'm not going to. I might do a separate video on the really juicy details of this game. Oh, I'm about to <laughs> I'm about to lose my uh, little crown in the corner. I'm not careful. Hmm. All right, let me get this guy. Oh, all right, he's knocked out. Now, using that strategy before, knock his, knock the blue guy's walls down. Ah. All right. I'm getting dangerously close to being eliminated. All right. Boom. All right. Now, if I don't get to be eliminated, I'm going to try to get the purple guy. All right. Let's line this up here. The invisible blue guy is right there. So let me see if I can get him. Uh, so close. But got him anyway. So. That was, that's Warlords. If you hold down the button, you can catch the ball, or if you just don't hold down the button, it'll just reflect off of you. But that is pretty much what Warlords is about. Um, you can, um, of course, I won the first game, but you win so many games before you win the total game. Um, but that was Warlords, and I, I kind of like the, the, the Atari 2600 version better than the... Um, the arcade version just because I, I just you know 
got a little nostalgic feel for that. But that was the Atari Paddle Games uh, TV plug and play. Plug it in and play. It was it's fun. Like I said, they recreate the paddles very nicely, and I like them and just just superb. So if you if you ever have an urge to play some of the paddle games and you don't want to get your paddles fixed if you've got an Atari, just grab this plug and play game. It's it's awesome and I really like it and I really really enjoy it. So, but thank you again for another awesome video. I'm going through my little. Uh, storage drawer here full of uh, games and uh, I think probably next video if you'll uh, be nice enough to tune in I will do the uh, Space Invaders you can see that right there the uh, plug and play Space Invaders I think it's made by uh, let's see, Radica yes so I'm going to give this a whirl and see what kind of games are on it and we can uh, we can just check them out and see what's going on with that. But thanks again. I've got plenty more games to play and plenty more, plenty more gameplays to, to show you and let you check them out and see for yourself. But uh, I'm about to stop recording right now and let you just uh, enjoy the games, watch the gameplay videos and stuff. But uh, thank you for joining me, and we will see you next time.